We're observing the departure controls area where flight attendants who are scheduled to operate Flight 98 from Miami to London are checking in. This procedure includes filling out the sign-in sheet. Bob is not the senior purser, so he enters his name on the second line of the sign-in sheet. In addition to employee number, seniority number, pay capacity, and base, each flight attendant should also enter his or her nationality and language qualification. Pursers are responsible for the organization and coordination of flight attendants, passengers, and in-flight services on board the aircraft. Our senior purser, Terry, has arrived and is filling out the top line of the sign-in sheet. Bob and Terry are introducing themselves and coordinating their working positions. They determine that Terry will gather all the forms and information pertinent to the flight. The manner in which pursers receive information concerning a particular flight varies from base to base. Here, a purser room is located close to the departure controls area. Most of the forms and data pertinent to the flight are found here. On the bulletin board, Terry finds information about her flight, including the aircraft number, departure gate, and projected passenger load. Flight 98 will operate today as a 747-100 from gate F-11. Also posted is a printout which indicates that this aircraft is card equipped. Returning to the desk, she locates the appropriate FICA form and activity chart. She reviews the latest bulletins and service guides in order to organize a thorough briefing. She also utilizes the currency conversion table to complete a portion of the FICA form. Upon completion of the FICA, she gathers the remaining data necessary for the briefing. The emergency briefing certification, which should be completed after the emergency portion of the briefing, and the London Crew Customs Declaration. All crew members must complete this form prior to arrival in the United Kingdom. Terry is now preparing to return to the departure controls area. There she will collect the sign-in sheet and determine that all of the flight attendants have arrived. As you observe the briefing, note the topics discussed. Each purser utilizes his own style, however the sequence in which the information is presented should not vary. Yes. Yes. Good afternoon, everyone. Okay. I'm Terry Shikani, and I'm going to be in your senior purser today. My other purser is Bob Wallaba. I'll be working the first class cabin, and Bob will be working the back cabin today. I don't, I'm not sure that everyone knows each other, so let's take some time to introduce ourselves to each other. I'm Cindy Leonardo. I'm Corey Hill. I'm Linda Reynolds. I'm New York based and I was called out on reserve, which is why I ended up here. I'm junior today, so I'll be working as a flight attendant on this flight. I'm Colleen Cleary, also New York based. Joanne Berklin. Anita Hayes. Albert Fullerton, Los Angeles based. David Hansen. Diane Napoli. And Joni Madelon. Thank you. I have a copy of the London Crew Declaration form. Everyone, please sign it before you leave the briefing today. Today is May 1st. Our aircraft is at gate F11. The aircraft number is 735 and it's a 747-100 aircraft. It is equipped with the carts and our configuration is 21, 46, and 347. Our estimated passenger load is 19, 40, and 320. Our flight will leave Miami tonight at 6 o'clock local time and arrive in London tomorrow morning at 8.10 London time. That's a six hour time change. Our flight continues on 98 to Frankfurt, so there will be a change of aircraft and you need to notify our passengers that they need to take all of their personal belongings with them. What type of aircraft will it be? It will continue as a 747, but it will be a different aircraft. A passenger service agent will board in London and make the announcement. Our captain this evening is Captain Brown. Our movies are a chorus line in zones A, C, and E, and money pit in zones B and D. A synopsis will be located on page 95 in the Clipper magazines for our passengers. 
I've listed the current conversion rates on our FICA form, which will be posted in the galleys. Additionally, you may want to pick up a current currency conversion table to take with you. You can find it in the briefing office. The smoking rows are in first class, row 5, clipper class, rows 16 and 17, and in the back, rows 47 through 56. I have some special information that you might be interested in on our SIL. We have a VIP traveling with us this evening. It's Mr. Gronsky from General Motors. He's a president. We also have a passenger who speaks only German. Bob, wasn't there a flight attendant who speaks German? Yes, that was... Anita. Anita, could you please assist this passenger and also make the German announcements for us? Sure. Okay. Thank you, Anita. We also have some special meals tonight. We have 10 vegetarian meals, two kosher meals, and one hamburger meal. I'll post copies of the passenger seat number and names in the galley complexes so you can check them. We're ready for crew assignments. We're going to be asking for volunteers for positions. However, if two or more people want the position, then it'll go by seniority. Bob? Terry, do you have the seniority list? Yes, I do. Okay, great. Uh, may I please have a volunteer for the first class galley cabin position? We have two hands up, Cindy and Linda. Okay. Cindy, you're senior. And we have the floater position working in first class. Corey, this is your second trip with us, and I'm going to be working in first class. Why don't you try working the floater position? I'll be there to answer any questions, and I think it would be a good experience for you. Okay, no problem. Great, thank you. Good. How about the upper deck? Oh, we have two hands for the upper deck. We have David and Diane. David Sr. Okay. Uh, David, would you please remember to assist on the main deck in both clipper class and cabin class as your duties permit. And please uh, check on the cockpit at least every 30 minutes in flight. Thank you. Now I need two volunteers for team four. Uh, the person working the 4L position will be the aft galley alternate. And your duties will include setting up the galley, coordinating the meal count with the 1R galley position, as well as assisting in the cabin. And the 4R position will float between the beverage cart and the meal cart during the service. So let's assign the 4L position the galley alternate first. Do we have any volunteers for that? Diane? All right. And the 4R position? No volunteers? We'll come back to that. Okay. Now I'll need one person to work with me. Uh, on team one who will set up the clipper galley and assist in the cabin. Linda? Great. Thank you. <coughs> team two uh, will work the beverage carts and there are two positions available. Anyone for team two? Okay. We have Colleen and Joanne. All right. And team three works the meal carts and there are also two positions available. We have three hands. We have Anita, Albert, and Joni. Okay, Albert and Joni are senior. All right. Anita, remember the 4-hour position that I said I'd come back to? I'm coming back to it now. <laughs> you don't yeah, mind, do you? Not at all. Okay, thank you. Um, okay. I'll go ahead and pass around the FICA form right now. And I'd like for all of you to please note your jump seat, your demo positions, and your boarding assignments. Uh, the FICA forms will be posted in the galleys for your inspection. See, Joni, I believe you're working the 3L position. Uh, would you please remember to assist in the first class cabin during the boarding? Okay. Thank you. And for those of you working with me in the back, I will distribute my change fund uh, for TETA and the bar cards once we're on board the aircraft. Are there any questions so far about your assignments? Just a word about your own security. Please make certain that your luggage is locked at all times and in view, whether you're in the airport or on your layover and when you get on the aircraft please make certain that your own personal luggage is stowed out of the view of passengers if anyone boards the aircraft please make certain that they have proper identification that is visible at all times if anyone seems suspicious get either Bob or me and contact us immediately Bob would you like to handle emergency sure Uh, first of all, just a couple of things about emergency. 
please be sure and check your emergency equipment as soon as you board the aircraft and let Terry or, or myself know uh, if something is missing or inoperative. Uh, second of all, please check at this time to make sure that you have a working flashlight, a cockpit key, and an up-to-date flight service handbook. Uh, also, please do not enter the cockpit during taxi and when the no smoking sign is on during climb and descent, except, of course, in an emergency situation. Flight attendants should be seated during taxi except to perform safety-related duties. David. What are the verbal commands for an unprepared evacuation? That would be a land evacuation. Okay, for an unprepared evacuation, it would be grab your ankle, stay down, and then open seat belts, leave everything, come this way. Anita, what would you do in the event of an oven fire? I would close the oven doors, turn off the power switches, pull the circuit breakers, and then the fire should extinguish automatically by itself. If it didn't, I'd go and get a halon extinguisher. All right. Uh, you might also want to have someone bring a backup fire extinguisher. And don't forget to notify the cockpit. That's a good idea. Great. Albert, uh, please explain how to open the door in an emergency situation. Let's see. I'm sitting at L5. I would just open the door as far as it would go, pull the handle back push the door outward until the power assist took over and the slide wrap should inflate automatically. All right, and don't forget to assess your exit prior to opening the door. Okay, I'll be watching for fire and assess the exit at all times. Diane, where are the spare life vests located? Uh, they're located under every flight attendant jump seat except LNR5. They're located in the aft closets and in the upper deck they're located in the credenza. Very good, thank you. And Joni, what should you do for a choking victim? First I'd ask, can you speak? If not, I would give four back blows, four abdominal thrusts, and the repeat if necessary. Cindy, where are the oxygen bottles located? The oxygen bottles are located on the main deck at all the jump seats, except for L and R5, where they are located in the closets behind the jump seats. In the upper deck, they are located in a compartment across from the stairwell. Very good, thank you. And Corey, where are the water extinguishers located? The water extinguishers are located on the right-hand side, and on the right-hand side of each and every jump seat. And in the upper deck, they're in the same location as the oxygen bottle. Thank you. Linda, where are the halon extinguishers located? On the left-hand side at every jump seat and upstairs in the credenza. Thank you. Colleen, where are the first aid kits located? In the B-zone closet, the C-zone doghouse, in the right aft closet, and in the cockpit. Very good. Joanne, which doors are not normally used for a ditching on aircraft equipped with slide wraps, and how do you prepare them for a ditching? L3 and R3 are not normally used for ditching, and you would pull the black handle to deactivate the off-wing slide. All right, and if you inadvertently pull the black handle for a land evacuation, how can you correct the situation? You would pull the yellow handle, which would override the black handle. Thank you. Terry, was there anything you'd like to add about emergency? Yes, I would. When I make the all call, please go to your stations, place your doors in automatic, check the viewer window, and make certain that the uh, strap is attached. Then cross over to the other side and check the door mode. Answer the all call from that door using the correct response. For example, L2 automatic strapped and cross-checked R2. And just so we understand what I mean by cross-check, I mean to physically walk over and answer the all call on the opposite side. Please remember to stay on the phone until all doors have responded. Let's talk a little bit about service. Um, we're going to serve a hot dinner followed immediately by the movies in all of our cabins. We'll be serving a continental breakfast prior to arrival in London. Try to feed our passengers with children. Uh, feed the children first. This helps our passengers out. And also remember to offer pillows and blankets as some passengers are going to prefer to go to sleep after the meal service. Oh, by the way, this is a long flight. Let's please remember to maintain Pan Am's grooming standards throughout the flight. Obviously, you know what these standards are since you've met them today. One thing that really bothers me is please don't wear your jackets or sweaters over your apron. 
those of you who are working in the galleys, it's necessary that you let Bob or me know as soon as possible if there's any shortages or if there's anything that's malfunctioning in the galley complexes themselves. As far as first class, most of you have flown with me before. I'd like to do a six-cart service. Also, I'd like to set the credenza area up with the liqueurs for our first class passengers. We'll do fast first on the ground. We'll have all our coat tags and hangers ready to go. We'll offer amenities on the ground also. And also, we'll be offering the duty free today. Please pay special attention to our frequent travelers, specifically our select frequent travelers who are on board our aircraft this evening. And in first class, make certain that you use our SIL to get our first class passenger's last name so we can make our service very personalized for them. Bob, was there anything you'd like to add concerning the service in the back? Yes, I've filled out the activity chart and I'll pass it around now. If you have any questions about service flows, I'll be happy to answer them on board the aircraft. Now, both the activity chart and the FICA forms will be posted in the galleys for you. Uh, please be sure to start the carts at the same time and pace yourself so that one cart doesn't get ahead of the other. I've specifically assigned several of you to check the lavatories in flight. However, each of us should tidy the lavatories as we use them. Please be accessible and monitor the cabin regularly. Remember, we're all a part of a team and the job isn't finished till everyone is done. And let's remember to give our passengers the personal service that they expect from us. Once again, you all look great. Um, I look forward to working with you on the aircraft. And please don't forget to sign the crew deck before you leave.